So when we look at this gas crisis, it occurs to me. They say, well, gasoline and oil, that's an international commodity. And so we have no control of the gas prices. So if we drill more, then we have to sell it on the open market. And that goes to India and China. They need it. They have a demand for it. Well, they have a demand for it because they've gotten all our factories. Okay? That hasn't happened by accident. There are agencies in Washington that facilitate the movement of manufacturing companies overseas. I came out against NAFTA along with Bob Barr. Uh, years ago, I could speak on NAFTA. I knew more about NAFTA than Bob Barr did. And what they were doing is that they were exporting our factories, capital goods, capital factories, and they were calling it an export as they shipped jobs and the capital goods to Mexico and calling it an export, saying this is good. Well, this is what they've done. They've decimated us. Now, we're looking at a, at a gas crisis in America, and we all know the reasons. We haven't drilled. Yes. And this goes back long time. Or build refineries. Or build refineries. That's right. And we we know that George Bush tried to open up Anwar, but Congress wouldn't support it. But George Bush, as we know, the power of the presidency, he could have issued an executive order and opened it up for drilling right away. Yeah. All right. But no, nobody ever asked him the question. Had I been in Congress, I would have asked him the question, and I would have put that issue to the American people. I would not have been silent about it or deferred to someone else. Obama, of course, took drill in more places, but he has chosen not to. And I'm not going to get into this morning and his motivations are fine. But one, oil comes from private property and also from government property. We are now exporting gasoline because the demand is so low in the United States because of our economic situation and it's booming in China and India. So they're taking our oil and gasoline while they're printing more money, which is causing inflation and the price of our oil and gasoline to go sky high to the point that it's difficult for many people to afford paying the kind of prices they're having to pay just to get to work, just to get to the store, carry their kids to the soccer games. And we're watching the disintegration of our country. But what we can do, and more people in Congress should be really, really in front of the cameras and forcing Obama to have to deal with this. What we can do for oil that is being drilled and produced on public lands. Public lands, that's our land. We own that land. We are the government, not the people that we elect, not the bureaucrats in Washington or the bureaucrats down at the Capitol. We are the government of the people, for the people, and by the people. We created, and the states created, the federal government. So this, this, this raw material, this wonderful material, this oil that we have, energy, from public lands, that can be, <laughs> we no longer export that to China and India. We keep that here in the United States. And we put a 10 25% export tax on any domestic production that is exported from this country. That will do a couple of things. That will lower the price of energy here. As we look at what Iran is doing over there, that any day we can suffer an oil shut of oil, but we're not using it correctly. We can take that 25% tariff and have that money come back to the states. And I'm a strong believer in states' rights have that money come back to the states and find a mechanism to plow it back into the price for gasoline or re uh, uh, rebate to American citizens. They have the demand. So just in 1992, China had no manufacturing. They do now. It's our manufacturing. And when we take some of the company over there, then they own all the intellectual property. And they also own 51% of that company. We are getting some industries back from overseas now because of the low natural gas prices. Not enough. Well, not we enough. Need, we need to have a program, not just hit or miss, a program to bring them back. And if we have lower energy costs here, we're not going to have to worry about our families trying. The farmers have to pay an increased uh, fuel price. And we don't know what's going to happen if they shut down the Strait of Hormuz and what that's going to do. We need to look after America first. It's time for us to do that. So there are things that we can do in Congress that we can help bring these issues to the forefront. The people of the Levitt District and people of the United States to make a change. I'm not going up there just to blend in 
I'm at the stage in my life, I've got three grown kids, married for 33 years. This is time for me to do some other things and move on to another phase of my life. So if someone asks me, well, when you get up there, are you just going to blend in with the rest of them? You're going to drink the Kool-Aid? And my answer to that is, no, I'm not. They're not going to buy me off. They're not going to intimidate me. They're not going to. They're not going to co-opt me. They can kill me, but they can't eat me because that's against the law. <laughs>